Hi, my name is Eric Shirley. I'm from Woodstock, Georgia, and I'm here today to talk to you about early onset scoliosis. Growing rods are two rods which attach to the spine bone using anchors such as screws or hooks. The rods allow the spine to straighten some during insertion, but also can later be extended to allow for continued growth of the spine and chest. Yes, there are two main types of growing rods. The traditional or original rods that I have here, this is a uh, traditional growing rod construct on a spine model. Uh, you can see that the construct attaches to the spine bone using hooks uh, or screws and then the connecting device in between is where the lengthening procedure is performed which will allow the spine rods to expand. The newer rod is magnetic and that can be extended in the office using a magnet and does not require a trip to the operating room or anesthesia. The traditional growing rods are lengthened approximately every six months, which comes to about two procedures per year. These procedures continue until close to the end of spine growth, which typically occurs between the ages of 11 and 13 years. At that time, there are two options. One option is to withhold from any additional surgery unless the spine deformity continues to worsen. The other option is to proceed with one final surgery to correct any remaining curve deformity and to prevent the deformity from worsening. 